I wanted to wear my yellow shirt just to represent the Ganga. And I just want to say my heart goes out to you and I don't have anything else to say, bro. I just want to give you your flowers and continue doing everything that you're doing. You're on your side, bro. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. You know, just for you guys understanding the humanity, the very first time I was ever given some medication is actually related to an incident with paparazzi uh, in front of the airport where I wrestled down the same paparazzi that just the following with me. And then they sent me to anger management class. I don't want to sign those right now, bro. I'm not going to sign them right now. All right, so um, they sent me this anger management class, and then the guy just gave me some medication. Just like, yo, take this. I had never taken medication my entire life. And one doctor said, okay, we started like this, this slope or something. And, um, you know, the interesting thing, everyone, they saw the heart attached to me. People are looking over. You know, the, the media has run all these stories smearing me for saying, hey, I can't be anti-Semitic if I'm a Semite. Because I am. Because that's who we are. Black people have, we don't have a flag. Our history's been stolen from us. We go to the African American Museum of Star to say, it doesn't start before then. They don't talk about Mansa Musa. They don't talk about us being here before. So, I want to read this text out to you again, right? Because people need to not forget this. So when I put up the tweet, I was going back and forth with Harley saying, hey, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry at how these Jewish business people have done. And so many of my friends, are they doing yeah. Excuse me, disculpe, estamos en el video, por favor. Gracias. Thank you. Is still talking? Let me, let me know. And to this date, right? Y'all, y'all not seen everything be proven. I got kicked out of the out of the banks. Uh, Ari Emanuel asked all these businesses to stop doing business with me. Now, yeah, I was in negotiation with Adidas because that was my issue. They were getting lawyers to sign over my IP, different things, without me being aware of it. Like people signing on my behalf. And this mm -hmm. is part of the problems I have with Adidas. So now, the world has got to see how Adidas was as a, a partner. The fact that they would attempt to steal my designs. And that's happened a lot in history, right? right. But now y'all get to see it in real life. Like, and that's the difference. Like, let's read this Harley text out loud. When he was threatening me, you know, forcing me to apologize you know, about the frustration. And no one ever, no one ever said, okay, this is what you're dealing with. Even in fact, TMZ is gonna say Kanye West, right? And my name is legally yay now. It's always some form of disrespect. No matter if you're the richest black man or what happens. What? What's up, bro? Are you part of this? So it's a ballet, it's a ballet. There's what? It's a ballet. It's looking right now. Oh, poquito atrás? Yeah, por favor, gracias. Gracias, just go over there, man. We're going to get you ready. It's just that he was a part of the whole making noise over there. Yeah. All right, so let me read these Harley texts. This is how he was threatened. This is a trainer, but come to find out, he was actually Canadian intelligence, but this is my trainer. So this shows you the kind of handlers that are around the superstars in California, right? So it says, I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words. And everything that is discussed is based in fact, and that's some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you, or you saw in a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again, 
where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date, play date with the kids just won't be the same. This is the way a Hollywood, a Hollywood trainer was talking to me to force me to go and like apologize, right? But even though they ended the deals and, and you know, Farrakhan said, hey, you know, did he really ever have it? Let me explain to Farrakhan what that meant. I mean, my contract for Adidas was for four more years. My royalty was $500 million a year. That's what I meant when I said the two billion was lost in a day because of the negotiation with Adidas. I wanted to negotiate something where it's like, okay, you guys, you'll take the Yeezy, but we still get the royalties. And people saw, it's like when we dealt with George Floyd, different things, I'm gonna put the money up. You know what I'm saying? I put two million. I, I always support it in every one of these situations. Um, so, you think about if Harley was part of intelligence, right? What kind of people you think are surrounding my kids? What kind of people you think are in that house right now? When my kids go to Sierra Canyon, it's a Jewish school that doesn't teach Christianity to these Christian kids. At Christmas time, they're teaching Kwanzaa to black kids. They say, hey, this is your, this is your Christmas. This is all indoctrination. This is all mind control. You gotta understand, like I'm putting, I, I don't believe I'm putting myself at risk because I think God uses me for a time like this. He put me in this situation and had y'all follow me from George Bush, don't care, to you know, I had the best video. To now, for some reason, y'all are interested. Two Chain said, "Why is Bell Buckle? Well, y'all niggas soul is looking like <laughs> y'all are y'all are interested for some reason, and they wanted to medicate me every day. You realize, like, they could have just switched to medication, and I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was because of a mental issue." Right, yeah. I ain't never been back to the hospital since 2015, but every time they say I'm crazy, it's just when I'm saying the truth. So what's the crazy part, really? What's the crazy part, really? But they can't scare you, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize they you. They can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they could control LeBron James. They could control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. No, you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you, but the way you read that, I took that as a slight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm taking no disrespect from nobody, so let's get on the phone and let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slights from nobody, right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody, it's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, appreciate you. Michael too. Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize, they want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right? Had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. That's more important than thinking in life. <laughs> That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meek mills, y'all puffies, y'all little boozy, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out a way, I'm still not backing down from what I said. It's Jewish people that did bad business. I'm Semite, so I can't be anti-Semitic. They stole our history from us. They stole who we are. And it's up. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.